दोट्रोपिक मेडिकेशन प्राइमरीली ए डिक्रीजेस आफ्टर लोड बी इनक्रीजेस द फोर्स ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन सी डिक्रीजेस प्री लोड डी डिक्रीजेस हार्ट रेट एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी इनक्रीजेस द फोर्स ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन हाइनोट्रोपिक एजेंट्स सचैस मिलरिनोन डिगोक्सिन डोपमाइन एंड डोबिटामीन आर यूज टू इनक्रीज द फोर्स ऑफ कार्डिया कॉन्ट्रैक्शन A patient reports that he experiences chest pain whenever he performs activities but it is relieved within a few minutes by resting this is an example of a unstable angina b stable angina c variant angina d prince metal angina and the correct answer is b stable angina <coughs> I'm having chest pains. That's a relief. Stable angina is the most common type of chest pain. It happens when the heart is working harder than usual. Stable angina has a regular pattern. Rest and medicine usually decreases the chest pain. Duke's criteria is related to which disease condition? A infective endocarditis B typhoid C hydrocephalus D encephalitis and the correct answer is A infective endocarditis Duke's criteria are used to confirm or rule out endocarditis positive blood culture results for infective endocarditis and evidence of endocardial involvement from echocardiography are the two major duke's criteria which one of these is not a cardiac biomarker a alkaline phosphatase b creatinine kinase c troponin d myoglobin and the correct answer is a alkaline phosphatase Cardiac biomarkers are substances that are released into the blood when the heart is damaged or stressed. Measurements of these biomarkers are used to help diagnose acute coronary syndrome and cardiac ischemia conditions associated with insufficient blood flow to the heart. Cardiac biomarkers which can be used to diagnose a heart attack are cardiac troponin, creatinine kinase, CKMB and myoglobin Cushing's triad refers to a set of signs that are indicative of a increased intraabdominal pressure b increased intrathoracic pressure c increased intraocular pressure d increased intracranial pressure and the correct answer is D increased intracranial pressure Cushing's triad refers to a set of signs that are indicative of increased intracranial pressure or increased pressure in the brain Cushing's triad consists of bradycardia irregular respirations and a widened pulse pressure Which of the following is a non-drug therapy for children with epileptic seizures? A ketogenic diet, B high protein diet, C low fat diet, D high fiber diet. And the correct answer is A ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is a way of treating patients with unmanaged epilepsy. The diet high in fats and low in carbs works by changing how the brain gets energy to function although not well understood this diet has successfully reduced seizures in many patients plasma pheresis can be used to treat which of these autoimmune disorders a myasthenia gravis b guillain barre syndrome C chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy 
D. All of the above. And the correct answer is D. All of the above. Plasma pheresis is a process in which the liquid part of the blood or plasma is separated from the blood cells. Typically, the plasma is replaced with another solution such as saline or albumin or the plasma is treated and then returned to your body. If you are sick, that is if you are having any autoimmune disease, your plasma can contain antibodies that attack the immune system. A machine can be used to remove the affected plasma and replace it with good plasma or plasma substitute. This is known as plasma exchange. The process is similar to kidney dialysis. Plasma pheresis can be used to treat a variety of autoimmune disorders including myasthenia gravis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. Parkinson's disease includes all of these symptoms except a. Slowed movement, bradykinesia, b. Muscle stiffness, rigidity, c. Thunderclap headache, d. Tremors. And the correct answer is c. Thunderclap headache. Bradykinesia, rigidity and tremors are all symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Whereas thunderclap headache is not a symptom of Parkinson's disease. The perception of pain or discomfort in a limb that is no longer there is called as A. Phantom limb pain B. Intractable pain C. Aftermath of pain D. Referred limb pain And the correct answer is A. Phantom limb pain After an amputation, some people experience pain in the part of the limb that's no longer there. This sensation is phantom limb pain. The pain is real. The phantom part refers to the location of the pain. The missing limb or the part of the limb, such as fingers or toes. RBSK Full Form A. Rastriya Bal Sramik Karikram B. Rastriya Bal Suraksha Karikram C. Rastriya Bal Swasthya Karikram D. Rastriya Bal Sramik Kalyan and the correct answer is C. Rastriya Bal Swasthya Karikram. Rastriya Bal Swasthya Karikram is an important initiative aiming at early identification and early intervention for children from birth to 18 years to cover four Ds. That is defects at birth, deficiencies, diseases, development delays including disability. It aims to improve survival outcomes by decreasing morbidity and improving the quality of life of our children. Shuffling gait is characteristically seen in A. Alzheimer's disease B. Parkinson's disease C. Multiple sclerosis D. Myasthenia gravis And the correct answer is B. Parkinson's disease Shuffling gait is a type of walking characterized by dragging one's feet along or without lifting the feet fully from the ground. The most common cause of shuffling gait is Parkinson's disease. Spinal cord is continuous with which part of the brain? A. Medulla oblongata B. Cerebrum C. Midbrain D. Pons And the correct answer is a. Medulla oblongata The spinal cord is continuous with the medulla oblongata at the foramen magnum. Kusumal breathing is a deep and labored breathing pattern often associated with A. Diabetic ketoacidosis B. Hepatitis C. Acute renal failure D. Hepatomegaly and the correct answer is
Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.